right. What's good, YouTube? It's your man, the son of some man. Who's my son, son. Who's my son? Who's my son? Who's my son? Who's my son? Who's my and we are back, back with another video. What's up, guys? What's going on? How's everyone doing? I hope all is well. Whoever's tuning in, checking us out today. But if you are brand new, please do me a favor. Feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you're brand new and you want to get notified every time we drop a brand new video, that little notification bell down below, just hit that and it'll let you know every time we drop a brand new video. But before we get into today's video. All right, so if you guys been watching me, you know I've had a beard for a while. And this brand reached out to me, which is New Blue Care. It's a beard oil. All right, so looking at the ingredients, grape seed oil, hydrogen. Hydro hydrogenated sweet almond oil, joba seed oil. The instructions, shake well before use. Use the dropper to suck a small amount of beard oil. Put, put on the hand to apply or use the spray nozzle two to three times against the beard and then rub the beard with your hands. Let the skin and beard fully absorb the beard oil. Let's get to it. The spray nozzle. And don't judge me, I comb my beard with a uh, Live Your Life Jojo Silver brush. It's my daughter's. All right, I'm gonna take off the uh, nozzle. I said to do a little bit, not too much. Now the smell is really, really good. Not so greasy at all. I'm gonna get a little more because uh, my beard's a little thick, so. Now if you got a thick beard like I do, make sure you put enough to get up all in there. Now a huge shout out to uh, New Blue Care. Truly appreciate you guys. If you guys have a thick beard and you wanna get the product that I'm using right now, the links will be in the description. Make sure you check them out. Also, we're gonna we're gonna test out the uh, spray nozzle. Pretty easy to use. Like I said, it smells great. Links will be in the description, guys. Well, also, too, what I noticed that it absorbs pretty quickly. So, like I said before, it doesn't leave that greasy feeling on your face or your beard. Really, really good stuff here. Smell is wonderful. Natural ingredients, can't go wrong. All right guys, here we have it. The Air Jordan 14 Flint Gray. Now, this shoe is you know, iconic for one reason. Basically, he took his last shot in a pair of 14s. They have the last shot 14s here. They are. If you don't know, then you must be living under a rock. But uh, that's where the silhouette comes from. That's why the silhouette is so famous. Well, not really that famous, but uh, to me, it's famous. You, all jo you know, Jordan fans around the world is famous. As for the details of the sneaker, we have this little plastic, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what you want to call this, on the top of the tongue, we got the Jordan here, and then on the back, in the Roman numeral, you got the 14. <laughs> also, you have an embroidered Jumpman here on the toe box, which is pretty cool. Also, another little neat detail, as you can see right here, it's got that screen, kind of like a vent for a car. After all, the uh, Jordan 14, was designed after Jordan's favorite car, which is a Ferrari. And I'm sure you would see those type of screen vents on the Ferrari. Also here, you got the Jordan logo, but as you can see, it's inside of a Ferrari logo, which I don't know if they had to get permission to do that, or is that, or is it, it's something similar to the Ferrari logo, but then you got the Jumpman inside, like I uh, mentioned before. Now, as for the back of the sneaker, this is, like I said, my favorite part of the shoe. You got the 23 and the Jumpman on top. Underneath, you got a thick rubber outsole. The back is all rubber. And then on the top here, as you can see, you got the uh, kind of like that mesh overlay. 
pretty clean. I like the, uh, like I said, my favorite part of the shoe is the back. And I also like that side view. Look at that. So fire, so fire. Also, you got here some more silver. Pretty nice touch overall. Now, as for sizing, I would personally go true to size. These are a size 10 and a half. They fit me a little tight because I am a little, I am a size uh, 11, true 11, 11 and a half in some silhouettes. Sometimes a 12 too, can't even front. But uh, yeah, I would go true to size overall, you know what I mean? Air Jordan 14 is, like I said, it's not so comfortable, but it's not uncomfortable. But like I said, if you wear it for a long time, I believe then it becomes uncomfortable. Okay, as for the outsole, basically it's rubber. You got that plastic plate here on the you know middle of the foot. Also, you have a Roman numeral 14 right there towards the uh, toes. Got the jump man in the middle. Really cool design. Really, really dope. Now, is it worth the price of $210? It has to be because they're sold out on the sneakers app. So people, I guess, bought them up. Like I said, it's a nice summer sneaker, really clean colorway, really, you know, two different materials or two different suede. You got a long suede and then a short suede. The long suede would be here on the toe cap. Also here on the side panel where that Jordan logo and Ferrari logo meet. And also it's on the inside towards the collar of the shoe. Now, overall, the tongue is all suede. We have gray round rope laces as well. Now, as for the inside, kind of got that sweatpant material. Then we got an all gray insole with a white jump man. You know, nothing really crazy to see here. But anyway, guys, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. Did you guys pick these up? Are you guys looking to cop? Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts, your opinions. I truly appreciate them. But anyway, guys, before I go, huge shout out to J&M Sneakers. We truly appreciate you. If you guys are not familiar with J&M Sneakers and you want to get familiar with them, their links will be in the description down below. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you let them know your man, the son of some man, sent you if you decide to purchase anything with them. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Till next time, it is your man, the son of some man, and we're out, guys. Thank you.